Historically, ammonia was used in a couple of different applications. One is a direct application of ammonia as a primary fertilizer, upgrading ammonia into urea and other derivative fertilizer products. It also goes into ammonium nitrate, which is used for mining um, and explosives. As we look forward, we see it playing an important role in utilities and electricity generation. We believe that it is going to be a terrific long-term marine fuel because it's got zero sulfur and zero carbon when it's consumed. And we're looking at it to help other companies, other industries decarbonize because of its role in terms of being a very efficient carrier transport and storage mechanism for hydrogen. CF Industries is a, an ammonia producer. We're the world's largest ammonia producer. We produce about 10 million tons a year. And then we take that ammonia and either sell it as a fertilizer or as an intermediate chemical, or a big piece of that ammonia we then upgrade into other forms of nitrogen fertilizer or diesel exhaust fluid for emissions abatement applications. Industries like us have a critical role in supporting the global infrastructure and providing food security, safe jobs, and also um, now clean energy. Sustainability is really critical for CF, so we can continue to provide for our customers as we always have been, but then continue to help ensure that we're preserving their future by reducing our environmental impact where we can and also helping our customers to do the same. Our vision for the company is to be a world leader in clean energy solutions for a better planet. We want to help feed and fuel the world sustainably. Donaldsonville is not just the largest ammonia production facility that we have in CF, but it's also the largest in the world. So we've invested $100 million in a green ammonia plant at our Donaldsonville site. It consists of a 20 megawatt electrolyzer system uh, that will generate carbon-free hydrogen, which we'll be able to use in the back end of our ammonia plants to produce green ammonia. It'll be the first green hydrogen based ammonia production facility in the United States, producing approximately 20,000 tons of product per year. Hydrogen to make the ammonia can be made via a renewable resource such as electrolysis of water, what they call green ammonia, or the hydrogen can be made via natural gas. That natural gas has carbon dioxide as a byproduct of making the hydrogen, and that carbon dioxide can be captured and then sequestered, making the ammonia blue. We believe the demand for low carbon blue ammonia will emerge within the next few years, and that will really help to decarbonize uh, the marine and power generation industries. So that's why we're investing $200 million to build what we believe to be the largest carbon capture facility in the world. Our new facility will be able to dehydrate and compress that CO2. And uh, we believe you know, our system will be able to do that up to uh, 2 million tons of CO2 capture and sequestration per year. We're involved with um, a number of different initiatives looking at applications for low carbon ammonia in, in non-traditional ways. The McKinney Moeller Foundation, the Itochu Corporation, we're working with Mitsui to provide a low carbon, zero carbon ammonia product that can be used to displace coal in electricity generation over there. It really is a a terrific partnership across all these different um, initiatives. Our history is very rooted as a, uh, a highly ethical company, not only um, ethical in providing a critical product, but doing so in an environmentally sustainable and, and sensible way. So I think our, our future is pretty well mapped out. Our focus is on decarbonizing our network and providing low carbon, zero carbon inputs to grow the crops that feed the world and to help power the world and help other industries decarbonize their, their production processes as well.